So, with my new direction switching from sci-fi to fantasy, I've spent a lot of time this week creating a new fantasy-style asset library to make life easier when creating new characters. And I think I've pretty much got it down. It was a lot of fun looking around for stuff, and the patrons thought this would be a really nice video topic. So today, I'll be showing you all the kind of stuff that I've found and where you can find it yourself. Now, for those of you who don't know, libraries are a big deal. If you've ever worked at any AAA animation studio, you know they have ridiculous libraries of anything and everything you could ever want. They save you time and speed up your workflow. If you watch tutorials from grandmasters like the people who make Final Fantasy, you'll learn they take their libraries very seriously, often organizing it specifically for the character they are working on. The guy who I watched said he literally changes his user interface and all of his brush hotkeys for new characters before he even starts to work in 3D. That is how important it is to make sure that you have all the tools you need available ahead of time. Now, people like us don't have AAA libraries with millions of objects to choose from, but that doesn't mean that we can't make a good, humble little library for a reasonable price. Even a basic library will save you years of wasted time. So here are the things that I chose to put in my library for fantasy characters. If you are in the support squad and you were wondering what I spend the money on, this is basically 90% of where it all goes. The other 10% is like honestly coffee that keeps me going. But anyway, when I think of fantasy, I think medieval, massive, European style castles with kings, queens, beautiful princesses, knights in shining armor fighting dragons. That's what I think of. So the the first thing I knew I needed was swords. Lots of swords. Maybe like a hundred swords. Yeah, like these. How much? Eleven dollars? Yeah. Awesome, now we need shields. All the shields. Oh yeah, ten dollars? Take my money. What else do we need? Oh, of course, daggers. More daggers. Our assassin guys are gonna need them. And oh, of course, we need axes too. A hundred UV mapped axes for ten bucks? Yes. Oh man, what about the magic staffs? Not much of a fantasy without healers and wizards. A hundred and twenty for ten? You just added twenty for no reason. CG Sphere is like my favorite man on the planet right now. Ah shit, forgot about the archers. A hundred for ten? And you're throwing in grass crossbows? Sold. Now a lot of you are probably like, whoa, Skies, you forgot about the lances. And you are correct. But hear me out. I have a feeling that we'll be able to mix the stabs we got with the swords in order to create some pretty cool spears. So we're just gonna wing that later. Alright, I think that takes care of most of our weapons. Now we need armor. Yeah, something like this. How much? Free? I love you. 20 low poly shoulders for 5 bucks? Definitely yes. 30 sets of upper armor for 2 bucks? Hell yeah. Okay, what else do we need? Something else I see in a lot of professional designs are plants and flowers. Floral armor designs are awesome. And while we're at it, I'll probably eventually need to sculpt a beautiful Greek goddess at some point, so uh, 14 leaves for 4 bucks sounds pretty good to me. What else is there? Oh yeah, you were gonna need ropes? 9 ropes, maybe. Let's check the price. A dollar? Hell yeah. Let's see, jewelry. Throw the entire history of mankind across all cultures, nations have always decorated their most beautiful women with accentuous jewelry. So let's see what we can find. 250 different chains for five bucks? This has got to be a lie. My man, you are seriously undervaluing your work, but okay. Wait a second, this is it. The same guy also has 247 chain designs for five bucks? Now I have seen the second coming of the Messiah and his name is Artistic Squad. Jesus, I can feel the power just seeping through my hands. I will never have to make chains again, ever. And yeah, that pretty much sums up everything I added to my library. There are a few more things I wanted to add, like ornamental designs that you often see on the weapons and armor. You can get like 20 of them for 4 bucks. And I also wanted to get some wings like bird wings and demon wings. Because I have some pretty cool ideas for some beautiful angels and succubus characters. But I ran out of my budget so I'll have to wait till next month before I can afford to add those to my library. Also most of these things have OBJ files that work in Blender, Maya, and ZBrush. So even if you're not using ZBrush, you can add them all manually to your asset library and basically use them the same way. Anyway, even with just these in our library, we have probably saved about 30 years of work in the future. And you can mix and mash and edit things together to make completely new and original unique designs too. Links for everything I showed will be in the description, but I hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.